welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video to share with you all. This is my first ever collab video and I'm collabing with my girl Alexis Morales. You guys are probably already subscribed to her. You probably already know all about her channel because it is amazing. I first subscribed to Alexis like a few months back and I thought her eyebrows were on fleek and I thought her background was beautiful. I just thought she was so pretty and her videos were so clear and well put together and her vanity is amazing, her background, like her room is beautiful. Um, she always has the latest makeup, she does a ton of hauls just like me, we are both makeup junkies um, and she's just genuine and sweet and she's just kept it real since day one so I absolutely love her. And like I said, we are both total makeup of junkies and one day we were actually texting about this palette right here this is the makeup forever artist shadow palette you guys know I have my artist palette in the neutral version I have a full video with reviews and swatches of each of the shades so I'll link that down below in case you want like a more in-depth review on this palette um, but we both have this palette and she was texting me one day saying how she really wanted the bright version to this palette like I said this is number one this is a neutral version there's also number two which is a really bright colorful fun version of this palette and she was saying how much she wanted that palette and she picked it up and we decided to do a collab video where I use my neutral version to create a really smoky nighttime glam look and she's gonna use her brights version to create a fun summertime colorful look so I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you guys. Like, so right after you're done watching my video, make sure you go check out Lex's channel. I'm going to link it down below, and I'm also going to link her Instagram, because her Instagram stays poppin'. She always has like really good makeup photos on there, so make sure you follow her and subscribe to her. And if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this nighttime glam smoky look, just keep watching. So in my review of the full palette, I mentioned there are no matte shades here, so I had to use Max Pro Longwear Shadow in Uninterrupted to put in my crease just because I love a matte shade in my crease before any other color. But that is the only shade that I'm using that's not in this palette. The next shade that I took was Celestial Earth, that one right there, and I put that in my crease as well, but I focused it a lot more towards the outer corner. I picked up was taupe platinum and I used a flat brush and I packed that all over my entire lid next I went ahead and used my Mac black track liner and it did my wing I used a tart bamboo eyeliner brush and I actually really like it it was really easy to create a nice thin wing I wanted to go with something really dramatic, so I chose these ones that I picked up at IMAX. They're by LA Splash, and they're in the style Marilyn. They're really pretty on, but I will say the band was very thick, so they feel a little heavy and hard to put on your lid. Now to complete this look and make it into a really nice nighttime glam look, I took the color Onyx, and I put that all over my outer V and deepened up everything a bit. For my lower lash line, I took this Stila liner in the color Sepia. I mentioned this in a haul a few videos back, and I just lined my lower lash line. I was in love with this color. I did try black before this, and it just wasn't doing it. And then I took Uninterrupted and smoked everything out. Then I took the shade Pink Ivory and popped that on my brow bone as a highlight, and it is amazing. As a corrector, I use my MAC Bright Forecast Prep and Prime pen and I put that right where my dark circles are and blend it in with my finger. Now I'm not really going to get into what I use on my skin because I do have a foundation routine coming up, but what I did use was the Cover Effects Drops and the Kevin Aquan Liquid Lighting, and then I took my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer that you guys know I love, and I just warmed up and brought life back to my face a little bit. 
Then I took my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I have to smell every time I use it, and I carved out my cheekbones a little bit. I've just been playing with this a little. Um, I used to have it a while ago, and then the girl at Sephora, Sephora gave me like a huge sample. So I've been trying it out again, but I don't know, it's a little too orange for my taste, so you'll see. I go in with my trusty Kat Von D and like go right over it again. <laughs> Celestial Candle Light and I put that on the high points of my face and do you see how that just like lifted my face like lifted my cheekbones without even trying that hard it's just amazing and then I curled my lashes just to blend them a bit I'm using Sephora's colorful blush in the shade shame on you and just putting that on the apples of my cheeks For my highlight, I use my Makeup Forever Compact Shine On 03, and I love this one. It is my favorite. And then I sprayed my face with Fix Plus and a little bit of Smashbox's primer water right before I put on my lips and my mascara. This liner is just a no-name liner. I got it at a makeup class that I used to go to. Um, it's just a really pink, rosy one. You can use like Whirl or Soar from MAC or Jordana's, Tawny, um, just any kind of rosy shade. Then I used Jordana's new lipstick called Matte Blush. It's part of their modern matte lipstick line and I am in love. I'll be showing this in a drugstore haul coming up. Then I took this artist shadow called Pearl and I popped that right in the middle of my mouth just to make my lips look a little fuller and poutier. I applied a bunch of mascara on my bottom lashes and just a little bit on top just to make sure everything was blended with my falsies. So this is the final look complete. I had so much fun creating this look for our collab. Make sure you go check out Alexis's channel and her beautiful look as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to both of us. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!